So in the last episode, we were introduced to our characters, characters like Arthur Morgan, even John Marston. I love it, man. But now I feel like we're ready to get into that meat and potatoes of the game. Maybe not exactly into the free roam portion yet, but we're pretty close. But I'm talking about heists, train robberies, whatever we got to do to feel like that badass cowboy. And uh, I'm really excited for this. I'm Brian Himmelfarb, a.k.a. The Himmel God. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you guys for joining me on this adventure. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new here, you know what to do. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Hey, hit the like button while you're here. And click that bell to go ahead and get your notifications. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, for everybody else, you all know what to do. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2 as we continue on to the story. Train heist time, man. I want to train heist already. Alright, here we are. Walking in a winter wonderland. Certainly feels like it. Let's go inside. They'll come looking for me, you know. Well, maybe they'll come looking for those old Driscoll boys we killed at that ranch down the way. Who is that? Declan? Fat Tommy? We didn't get as far as introductions. Oh, oh God. <laughs> You're fucked! Like anybody's going to help him. I feel like I just took a walk around this whole cabin here. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For Damn what, right. 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you and unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. Except for rabbits. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted awful. Sounds Starving awful. Starving would be preferable. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. I've been up there for 50 days and 50 <sighs> nights, son. I'm gonna get me some awful and a rabbit. <laughs> here, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Never too old to learn archery. All right, let's head out. We've got 22 arrows and some awful. It looks like we're going to go hunting here in the beginning. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. Yeah, that means me. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. 
Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Right, so will I, because I ain't gonna live on no damn rabbit. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Gonna find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just... A lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. So damn, don't well, ask. Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Yeah, looks like we're arriving. Like every, every time we ride somewhere, it's always by a stream. But it makes for good cinematics, I'll tell you that for sure. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hopefully not wolves. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Yeah, let's stay quiet all right. You can hear us moving on our freaking horses. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Deer been here and recently. Oh hell yeah, deer baby. How can you tell? Because it was Bambi. Not. Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Well, there's no point setting off without that bow. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. All right, we're gonna crouch us for some Bambi. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Ah, look at that track movement. Thanks, Dead Space, for allowing stuff like this. Remember back in Dead Space, it's like if you ever had to find a way to go, it's almost like uh, hitting a button and it would show your track. And you get something like that here in Red Dead, so that's pretty cool. Using the eagle eye. Go find me some there. There you go, the tracks are coming in a little bit better now. I'm gonna find you. Wait, look. Ooh, I see it. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Oh, it's out. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Good shot. Oh, we got him, baby. Fell in the, I think he might have fell in the water, though. That was a fantastic shot. Nope, didn't fall in the water. All right, that's good. He was, like, right there on the edge.
I guess I can't do anything to the deer, though. We can hunt another. Question is where you're hiding at. Are you gonna be on the water or over in land? Look at me. Gotcha. Well I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Get me some deer. Come on up, horse. I got me some white tailed deer, baby. Speaking of my horse. <laughs> I whistled for my horse twice. There you are. About time. Get your ass over here. I got some deer, baby. Did I complete the long walk to my horse? Stole me a deer, baby. Head back to Charles with his terrible hand. Yes, yeah, boy. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Let's head on back with some deer. We just killed Bambi. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Damn right. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Custer had a plan, too. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. <laughs> Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well... We've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Uh oh. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. This is gonna be interesting now that we got ourselves a bear. Shut up, boys. Come on, we gotta stick together. Cut up here, off the trail. The hell you think I've been doing already? You're the one that's getting too damn close to that bear. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Well, it better be. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. <laughs> he treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, well, you special. We need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Uh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> Taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He, he would like the main. Jesus right. Feels like the storm's picking up a little bit. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hucked me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Hey, we made it back. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. Let me show you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Good haul, boy.
Deer here. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. Surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Oh, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. <laughs> well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you Navy. sane, it does. Yeah, oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. Don't scare me, Bambi. Not for the pain of heart. Woo, yeah. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Benson! <laughs> Wasn't that a pretty sight? few days later. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Here we go. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> By Damn it, time, man. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. Hey, man, we're we living, man. money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, who is He's he? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Hell yeah. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Showtime, baby! Everyone ready? All right, let's head out! Hey, 
I'm a master hunter. One out of three, so I need two more. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? Oh. I'll be fine. The bus is on black water. I'll take the driver and engineer, <laughs> then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yeah. Hell yeah. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. I'll say ride, baby. Let's ride. We're gonna rob a train, baby. That's what we all been waiting for, man. I feel like anyone playing this game, they were waiting to go ahead and rob a train, man, because it's going to be the fun stuff and the, the heists. This is what we want, man. Feel like a cowboy. Baby. Okay. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast, now it's thawing, before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? It's like old times. I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. Oof. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. Make some desertion in the ranks here. Are right. There'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Hey. Hear me a train. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Let's see Bill, baby. Yeah. How you getting off? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. All right, where is our spool here? Oh, there it is.
good old fashioned setup for a train robbery. Where's our detonator? There it is. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. I uh, sure hope so. <laughs> What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Showtime, baby. Good luck. All of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Oh no. Shit, no, what? God! Oh, you have gotta be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh, <laughs> We're gonna jump on the train. It's even better. Here we go. Now this is fun. Pull me up. I'm slipping. A second, I'm coming. Oh shit! I've got you. Now stop yelling. Alma, help me. It's like there's a bullet hole right there. Must be guarding something. 
A lot of people we didn't see on the train beforehand. That's a nice shot. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. <laughs> what are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. <laughs> Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. All right. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. <laughs> Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Come on out. Hands up. We didn't want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Get on that train, baby. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? Ooh, brandy. Arch. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. What, the pocket watch? Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Looks like we got uh, some there. information here. Ha. Ha. Mining and coal company. There. See? That's how it's done. It's like a telegram for your continued Shit. interest in the Jameson Mining Company. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. <laughs> no, this looks like something. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. 
Think I got him. Nice. Got some bonds. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Doesn't look like there was anything else there. Are you done in there? He's making me want to go up and just to see if there's anything there. It doesn't look like there is, but there was a cigar. Let's hurry this along now. Yeah, won't let me take it. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. Move it, boy. so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. We won't tell a soul, I swear. I said quick. <laughs> I could have shot him, but I did think about it. It's very pacifist of me, though. Hey, 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 I gotta loot these guys. You got anything? He had 63 cents. At least he had horse medicine. The other guy was like, here, loot me. I got 63 cents. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Oh, Marcy. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Wagons East.
Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. <laughs> Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Control the wagon. <laughs> Everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. Huh? You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. Fixing a ah, wheel back in the old not days. Not quite. Uh-oh. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. Uh -huh. I'll tell you. Story time. <sighs> not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. That's fucked up, y'all. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? You we don't. don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn <laughs> thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years run. later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Good Maybe time, a little man. This, older. Look at those scenery. A wilder, just absolutely delinquent amazing. you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Well, we got time. Don't want to tell us? Are we still heading the right way? That depends. 
Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, yes. I believe so. <laughs> you know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Sounds like Crystals, fun. Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. But what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's <laughs> not just, very low. You know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. <laughs> yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. I got me some herbs. So again, we'll be doing uh, plants. Kind of the same thing like the first game. Plants and skinnings and all sorts of other stuff, so not much different. There you are, brother. Head in there, follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. There he is. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. I think I went off the trail. Hey, back on the trail. Yay. Sweet home. You weren't wrong, Hosea. This place Here is we perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and. Here we are. Oh, damn. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so would you just look around you this world has its consolations <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know 
See if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. <laughs> Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there oh, and see story. what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything <laughs> apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you <laughs> do it properly. 